So my cat passed away recently, so I decided I'm going to make this video about my cat and all my other pets in honor of my cat. Hope you enjoy. Like most kids, my first pets were fish because they're easy for kids to keep them alive and they die before you get attached to them. Well, I would only get the fish that you couldn't put with other fish or else they'd kill them. And I always thought that was so cool that it uh, killed things. Wow, that's so edgy. One time though, I got two fish called, I think, swordfish, but they weren't like really awesome ones with their swords on their heads, but they were the ones with swords on their butts. For running backwards into your foes, obviously. Well, the only reason I got two fish was because I really wanted baby fish, so I was hoping if I got two fish, I'd get baby fish. Hello kids, today we're going to learn about how babies are made. So, when a mommy fish and a daddy fish love each other very much, the mommy fish magically has baby fish. Well, that's how I thought it worked, so I was thinking that one day I would wake up and just find baby fish in my fish tank. Hey mom, are you sure you didn't drop me when I was a kid? Another time, my mom and I were gonna... My, my dog's barking. Jack, shut up! Okay, I think he's done. Another time, my mom and I were trying to clean my fish's tank, so we put him in a cup of water so we could clean it. And when we were cleaning, we just heard a plop sound. So we look in the cup, and the fish was gone. So instinctively, we just start looking everywhere. We looked in the toilet, we looked on the ground, until we heard a sound from the garbage can. When we looked in the garbage, we found me. N no, we found my fish in a tube of toothpaste. Luckily, we found him fast enough, so we saved him. But after lots of dead fish, we got my first real pet, which was my cat. We ended up naming him Clementine because he was orange and really fat. So, like, if we take this, a head, add some legs, and a tail, looks pretty similar. Clementine was a good cat. He didn't do very much. He slept a lot, and most of the time you had no idea where he was because he was hiding. But during the night, he threw all that out the window. He would just not shut up. I slept all day, so if I'm up at night, you will be too! Since he was always up at night, I'd have to keep my door closed, or else he would come in my room. And either he would just meow for hours, or one time I felt a strong weight on my chest, and when I opened my eyes, my cat was just on my chest staring at me. He also loved jumping on any table that we didn't want him on. He tried to jump on the dinner table while we were eating, he'd jump on desks, anything. Kitty, kitty, no, 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 no! One time, he even jumped on my sister's dresser and knocked down my sister's fish tank on the floor, putting water and glass and a dying fish everywhere. I don't remember if the fish survived or not, but I like to think that he did and he was just scarred for the rest of his life. After a couple of years of having my cat, my family got a dog. And his name is Jack, and he's the best dog ever. He's a Yorkie poo. <laughs> I said poo. But sometimes you can feel like he's just a hairy baby that also walks on four legs. And has floppy ears. Well, he acts like a baby, okay? Because he always needs attention. When you sit down, he will always want to sit with you. He will follow you around, which can get weird when he follows you into the bathroom. But other than following you into the washroom, he's the best dog ever. Well, Tyler, everyone says that. Well, can your dog do this? Oh, wait, what, we're doing this now? Do tricks with Jack, you say? Hey, Jack, wanna do some tricks? Let's go. Today, here's Jack, hello. Uh, Jack, he's a very talented artist. He's actually the one who makes all of these videos. So he grabs his, his pen, right? And then he goes to his he goes to Tomb Boom and he just goes boop, boop. Look at that. Wow, look at him. Can you sign your name, Jack? So everyone can see. Okay, so we got some treats. I'm gonna have to put these down somewhere. 
put these. You ready? Jack, what are you doing to him? What are you doing to your dinosaur? That's not very nice. Go get him. No? Not gonna go get him? Okay. Hey, Jack? Look at me. You shake a paw? Oh, that, no, I said shake a paw, not jump on my hand. Jack, shake a paw. Shake, shake. Good boy, there you go. Jack, you're gonna help me get views, okay? Jack, hey, pay attention. Jack, you gotta do the trick. Jack, ready? Put your hands up! Good boy! Jack, lie down. Lie down. Jack, hey, puppy. Lie, lie down. Lie down, Jack. Good job. You ready? Roll over. No, ro roll over. Lie down. Lie down. What are you doing? Ro roll over. Go outside. People are making humming noises. Whatever. Jack, you wanna play some frisbee? Jack, you ready? Ready? Go get it. Haha, I tricked you. I still have it. Jack. Jack, ready? Go get it. Go get it. You didn't get it. I'm gonna catch it. You missed. Jack, how else am I supposed to get views? Ready? Get it. Jack, you wanna play now? You ready? I don't wanna step on any acorns. It hurts. Ah! Where are you going? You forgot the frisbee. Hey, Jack. Ready? Ready? Go get it. Good job. Bring it to me. Can I have it? What are you eating? What are you doing? Can I have it? Oh, what is that? Stop it. Stop it. There's something in there. Ah. Go right, we'll get it. Go, go, go get it. Why did I not wear shoes? Ow. 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 Oh. Where are you going? What's happening? Where are you going? Where, what are you doing? <laughs> Lightning speed! You done? Ready? Are you gonna get the frisbee now? Ready? Check, ready? Check, pay attention! You ready? You're gonna catch it, right? You're gonna catch it? You missed. You're not good at this. Why won't you bring it to me? Bring me the frisbee, you booger face. Can I have it? No. Okay, bye. Bye. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, oh no. So, so back to your regular scheduled program. Woo! Wow, wasn't that super cool? That was pretty average. It wasn't really cool. <gasps> Something I find really funny about my dog that I don't know if other people experience this with their dog, but my dog loves car rides more than anything else. Hi Jack, how are you today? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty good, how are you? Good, good. Congratulations for completing our other challenges. In reward, you have to make the toughest decision of your life. Either you can choose between spending the rest of your life with your family, or you can go on an infinite car ride. Now, this is a very hard decision, so I'm going to give you a moment to think about it. I, I choose the car ride, the car, the car ride, I choose the car ride. So whenever someone's getting their shoes on, he always thinks that we're going for a car ride, so he'll always run to the door with this hairy looking olive tail wagging at a million miles an hour. Because if you didn't know, dog breeders often cut the tails off certain dogs. Well, that's the case with my dog. So now it looks like someone dropped their olive on the ground, they got covered in hair, and he's like, oh, this would look great on a dog's butt. So we grabbed the closest Elmer's glue and slapped some on the olive and then stuck it to my dog's butt. My dog is super selfish. For example, we feed my pets dry food, but once a day, my mom would give my dog and my cat a scoop of wet food, which is really gross looking mushy stuff. Well, my dog would get, get some and just mow it down. And my mom would put the plate on the floor it would just disappear. Oh, I swear I just gave you some. I'm sorry, buddy. Here you go. Wait, can I just give you some? Oh, I don't know. Here you go. Wait, I swear. What the? Here you go, buddy. Well, once he finishes his, he'll try and steal my cat's food because he eats super duper slowly. We ended up having to like guard my cat or else my dog would just push him away and steal all his food. So we had to like make a circle around him kind of and like protect him. My dog and cat had a love-hate relationship. It was really funny because one day my dog and cat would be sitting together on the bench 
where my dog would normally stare at people walking by because he's super nosy. Well, they'd sit there some days together, and other days it'd be Street Fighter 9 Household Pet Edition. But my cat didn't understand that he could just roll off the couch onto my dog and flatten him into a pancake. <laughs> So most of the time, my cat would just stand there and take a beating from my dog. So that's about all. There was one more dog, but he wasn't mine, so I didn't put him into this video. But I really hope you enjoy it, and just remember to go find your pet and give him a big old yeet. I mean hug. Yeah, don't yeet dogs. Hug them. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant to say. Hello guys, um, welcome to the end card. This video took forever to make because it's like 10 minutes long. Um, hope you like seeing my, my doggo. Um, yeah, he's he's cool. Uh, thanks for all this amazing fan art. I especially love uh, my Todoroki one that looks just like me. Uh, you'd understand if you're in the Discord, so you should join. Uh, so do that. Link in the description. Uh, and uh, th thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm going to finish editing the video. Bye-bye.